Tell my audience a little about yourself, and introduce yourself, and to why you're down at CMJ. Uh, we are Tab the band, a rock and roll band. We've uh, been around for a few years. Uh, we are doing a full week's worth of shows here at CMJ in New York. Uh, we're working on a new album coming out next spring. So we'll be previewing some new cuts and playing some old favorites. Um, you know. And we're uh, just lucky that we haven't got any parking tickets yet. Yeah, I hear you. So on your press release, you're saying like you were a mixture of like a little bit of punk, arena rock, and also like power pop. Talk a little bit about your sound. Um, I guess we just we all have different music tastes and like our favorite bands and stuff like that. But we kind of like in general direction we look at, but a lot of our music kind of dabbles in all those different genres. Like. Awesome. Have you been together, what, since about 2007? Yeah, like four years, years going and on. you just had like an album come out, what, two? Two uh, boys? We've had three albums come out. We're working on albums. Yeah. Right, right now. We've got a record a year, basically. Yeah. Uh, the last record was Two Boys. It came out in the beginning of 2010. And this next one will come out uh, next spring in 2012. You said you were working with Mark Neal, the guy who did Black Keys. What's yeah, it like? 
Yeah, it was cool. It was our first time working with a producer. We've never, we always just kind of produced ourselves. And uh, so it was cool to bring like an outside voice in. And he's an awesome guy, super talented. So we're so lucky to have him. So you opened up for Dinosaur Jr. and I also read the thing you were doing like La 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 Puza, so Yeah, we did. We opened up for Dinosaur Jr. Uh, in England, which was pretty cool. And then, uh, yeah, we played La La Puza this year. It was our first time there, so it was a lot of so, fun. So are you a like, Boston fan that said Massachusetts, but you were saying you live in New York? Or? Well, yeah, we kind of look at both cities at home. You know, we, we play the most in New York and Boston. We probably have you know, a bigger following in New York, actually. But both cities, you know, we play pretty often, and, you know, so it's kind of like a dual citizenship. <laughs> yeah, we were just up in Boston at the Paradise. Oh yeah, we played there. Played there. Yeah. Love that. It was funky. A lot of a lot of uh, moshing up there when we went up there. Oh yeah. They did that at your shows. Yeah, no, we don't get a lot of moshing. People are still figuring out what to do. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say what I mean. What kind of audience do you get, or is it kind of broad, or? Like people listening right now. <laughs> What do you say? So people listening right now is pretty interesting audience. Yeah, I mean, I think it's probably a lot. I don't know, I think in Boston it's like younger, like high school, college, and then here it's college and a little older. I don't know, yeah. as far as the demographic. But we've got people from, you know, you know, from 10 to 50, it doesn't matter. Like, we seem to, I think anyone can gravitate towards the kind of stuff we do. I mean, it's reflected in the kind of people that come up to us and say they like it's kind of great. Do you a lot of college shows? Or? We haven't done a ton of college college campus shows. Yeah, right. Boston's pretty much a college campus. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that when it was up there. It was, it was like all Northeastern and it was all BU. Yeah. That's what I meant in the Paradise. Yeah, yeah, BU is real. Yeah, the Paradise is right. I mean, it started to freak me out. It's like, is this is college ever going to Yeah, there's like, you can't go more than like two miles without seeing college. You know, funny stuff. So you played down in New York, played the Mercury and a lot of scene like that? Yeah, yeah. Bowery Ballroom. Uh, we opened some shows at Terminal 5. Uh, Modest Mouse and Slash. We played uh, you know, a variety of venues down, down here. We played the John Garbato store. One yeah. night, came to a party. And, you know, so it was just all over. We played a bunch of places. So when do you think your new album's going to come out? So you're working on it, or? Uh, we're, we don't have an exact date yet, but we're kind of hoping like first quarter. <laughs> uh, 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 spoken like a financial whiz over there. Thank you. We'll be doing some new songs tonight. We'll be on our next record. It comes out in the spring. Probably. <laughs> It is not in our control. Which, like most things, this song is called I Believe in Love.
Occupy Wall Street yeah, talk that yeah, way. Right. <laughs> no, we're all for the first couple months in uh, 2012. But so where, where do you kind of see the band going? So that's the proverbial question. Hopefully we're at a point where we can just do this <laughs> and not have real jobs. It's just do you guys have day jobs? or? Uh, they do. Well, these guys do. I, I, well, what are you, a lawyer or something? Or? Yeah, yeah, I'm a lawyer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was reading in the in the post, like you do copyright law or something or Yeah, like IP law for a firm here in the city, large firm. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a hectic uh yeah. but, uh, What's that like going from that from that environment back to the rock and roll environment? Strange. I used yeah. to do that back in the day. When I said I couldn't go I couldn't take going back so I just went into the rock and roll lifestyle. Yeah. I kind of enjoyed uh, having my entire brain being occupied. You know, at different times, just sometimes it's a bit stressful. Just it's both a uh, very demanding schedule. So. Uh, it's going to help you in the end, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because having rights of your music, your lyrics. Yeah, you know, yeah. So, like, we at least know we're getting screwed as opposed to other bands that don't <laughs> even realize yeah. we find out later. Yeah, what's that like? <laughs> you know, I mean, it, I, at least I know every time we get a piece of paper in front of us, I know what it, what it says. A lot of, I think most bands don't have someone within the band that they can 100% trust, you know, is, you know, cares, you know, because a lot of the times the bands get screwed by the people that work for them, it's not even outsiders, you know, it's people that are supposed to be on the inside, they're accountants, they're team, they're really taking advantage of Well, you grew up watching the business, right? What was that? You grew up seeing the business, right, with your dad, or? Yeah, I mean, Tony and I both, you know. But I didn't want to bring that that up it's just it's your thing. Yeah, no, but look, it's it's definitely it's an part of it. I think it you know, kind of went into this uh, business you know, with eyes wide open, knowing the risks and how to deal with it and trying to protect ourselves as much as we could and learn from the mistakes and experiences, you know. Uh,
good? Or it's a lot of fun. Make, a lot of work. A lot of contacts? Yeah. yeah. Works. A lot of work. We're doing another show tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah, we played uh, this morning. We played this afternoon. Oh, you actually did a show this morning? Well, yeah, we played like noon. Yeah, we played a noon show, and then we did an afternoon radio. Radio. Yeah, that's what we're uh, playing tonight and tomorrow night. Or not tomorrow night. Play Friday, yeah. so play in like five or six. Yeah, I think like six times in six days. What do you usually do? Like a forty-minute set, or? Uh, it's varying from thirty to forty, 40? forty-five, something like that. Cool. So you got one more this week. So what are your plans for the next couple months? You got the album coming out? Are you going on the tour? Or? Yeah, we're just waiting. You know, working on the record, getting the mixes done right, and then hopefully find a home for it. Someone put it out for us, and then. Uh, Hit the road when it's coming out. You have the national tour or it's say like on the east? try to do the actual whole thing. Get over to England too again. I saw that you guys use a lot of social media. I followed you today on Twitter. Oh, yeah. nice. Twitter. Yeah, we do. Uh, do you do that yourself or do you have someone to do that? That's us. We do it as much as we can. And then the Facebook thing? Uh, I like That's the page too. Yeah. yeah. We've got a lot of Facebook and Twitter all up in it. Yeah, it's fun. So I use Twitter a lot. So when, when I get the stuff, I'll have it up. And, you know, I, I yeah, we'll get it. Retweet it. Retweet it. Great. <laughs> so uh, any final thoughts? Or? You can follow us at Matt Tap the Band. Yeah. Yes. On Twitter, Facebook, uh, Slash Tap the Band. Tap the Band. Yeah, that's right. All Tap the Band. And the internet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great, man. I'll be rocking sense tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot.